Hey guys, welcome to another workflow tips video. Today I'm going to be going over thumbnails and why they're important and how you make them. So thumbnails are pretty much just small images, small scribbles. So we can just say, here you go, there's my thumbnail. That's it. That's all it is. They're important because you want to go over as many variations for an image as possible. So we'll just say sitting. You're kind of looking over to see what the best viewpoint of a of a character or a scene is, the layout, how it's gonna look, the, the, where the light's gonna come from, before you start actually committing to that. So here we'll just say like you're on the beach. Like sun there. I mean, that's pretty much all it is, and it saves you a lot of time and headaches. So you're not drawing and redrawing and erasing, and going, "Oh my God, why did I make this pose? It's it's not gonna work. This doesn't fit there. That background does not, you know, work with this image. The mood's completely wrong." By giving your chance yourself a chance to thumbnail it out, you're avoiding those issues later on down the line. So I can just take, so I don't have the bird right there, so I'll just, I don't know what this is. Someone just does a bird, I guess. There we go. It's great. So that's all it is. And then you want to make as many as you can and then look over at them and say, you know, which ones are standing out to me the most? Because if it's going to stand out to you, it's going to stand out to other people as well. And not because you're like, oh, I'm attached to it because I like this pose, but because it's conveying your message or your feeling or the tone or whatever it is that you're trying to go for. And if it's visually pleasing, too. So if I just have a person standing here with their arms, I don't know, they're cheering or something, it's not really that interesting. Now, if I have it where they're doing it on a three-quarter view, that's a little more interesting. And then I'm just making boxes so I have like a constraint of the what the theoretical canvas size could be. Now, if I do it where it's you know perspective, look how that changes everything. Out of the three, this is going to catch your eye the most. I'm not saying you have to do perspective or anything like that. But it just kind of helps you go, oh, well, this is an interest, you know, this one here. I'm like pointing at my screen, but you guys can't see me, sorry. This one right here, well, okay, well, I can see that being neat. But this one here, that adds a little bit more to it. But this one here, I like the most because I can really play with the perspective. And, you know, the feats, you know, it, it, you develop your skill with that too and all that crazy stuff. I mean, that's pretty much it for thumbnails. Uh, definitely get used to them. Don't put too much work into it. They're not supposed to be final images. They're not supposed to be pretty. They're not supposed to be anything amazing. Just ideas thrown on your canvas, your paper, whatever, just to get an idea across. So hopefully that helps you in your workflow. I get used to it. You need it. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one where, where we will go over taking that thumbnail on how to um, start doing your final image and create a and starting that uh, beginning process of line art and find you know fleshing out all the details and stuff thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one